Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I've taken this long of a hiatus from YouTube. I've missed you guys so much. It's so easy to stop filming though. Like I like two weeks turns into six months, turns into two years. It's just, it's crazy. We've been so busy. We've been in our new house for about a year now. We've done so many projects to it. There's still so much that we wanna do. We've actually started like moving our projects outside though because of the weather being so nice. So we've done a lot more outside stuff. But I thought, why not just walk you through, show you the whole house and like just get my feet back in the water and get going again because I missed you guys so much. Um, I hope that you enjoy this tour and yeah, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so this is the entryway here. It is just open and spacious. I do love it. Um, right now it's very simple, which I love. Eventually I'm sure I'll do other stuff in here, but for right now I'm loving the plants. You'll notice a lot of plants in this house. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and they provide amazing oxygen and clean air. There's just so many benefits to them. I love having different heights. I love having different kinds and different planters. I think that's very interesting and beautiful and just it adds life to the house, which I love. Um, this is a bird of paradise and it loves it in here because of the high ceilings and the amazing um, light that it gets in here. So very, very happy plants in here. I just have like this little bench right here so you can put on and off your shoes right there just to be able to sit down and do that. Um, very simple in here, which I love. I have, what, let's see here. I have this railing that we put in here. I love it. I love the contrast of the wood and the white. I think it's really pretty. Um, Richard put up all of this molding around. You can kind of see it around the door all the way up. It's so hard to capture this because it is so tall in here. But yes, I love that. I love the simple just character that it gives to it because like these walls are so big it would seem so just blah in here without that molding. And then that is a light fixture that I got off of eBay. Very expensive version on restoration hardware, but way more affordable. Afford <laughs> you guys have forgotten how to talk. Way more affordable on eBay. So yeah, awesome. We had to like do all this scaffolding and stuff to actually get it up there because it is so tall. Okay, so in here, it's a little bit of a hot mess. This is one of the rooms that we are gonna be doing a lot of work to probably here before the fall. This is where all the kids' homeschool stuff is right now because of quarantine. We're actually thinking about doing homeschool next year because we've been enjoying it so much. I love being able to spend so much time with my kids. I love being hands-on with them. Um, even now, like I find myself, like even when they're gone today, just so I can get this video done, I'm missing them so much. So it's just, it's awesome to be able to even just think about doing it. So we'll see if, like if that's what we actually decide, but we're really seriously contemplating it. Um, but this room will be getting a whole overhaul probably before fall if we do decide to, if we do decide to homeschool. Okay, so this is the office. It's just right off the entryway here. There's no door or anything. Eventually we might do like a barn door type style. But for now, this room is just very simple. Um, I have this really pretty light fixture. I think this was also off of eBay. Um, we have like this really pretty natural wood desk. Then back here we have this. You guys probably recognize this from our old house. This is just storing all of our photo albums and craft and just all sorts of like random stuff in there right now. We have extra chairs in here just because of homeschool. We can pull up a chair. So those are just kind of like a temporary thing just so we have space for people to sit. It's really nice for homeschool because this desk has this that pulls out so you can do schoolwork on there and have like a little bit of extra desk space and then they have like all their bulletin boards in here just to kind of kind of keep it organized even though we haven't really actually used these that much most of it just gets thrown on the shelf um and then we got like this from my mom this is like a cool antique filing cabinet i love the character of it again this room is a work in progress so things are a little messy but just wanted to show you what it looks like right now Okay, so I think before we go over there, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. All right, so the top of the stairs here is the boys' room. Richard did all of the shiplap in here, which 
I love, I love the character of it. They have like this cool antique looking light fixture. It's not actually antique, but it looks like it and it looks like a fan, which I love. I think that's so cool and industrial. They have their cute little metal beds. I'm thinking about getting this black and white map that we're going to put over the bed. Um, it's really big from Cost Plus World Market, so I'm thinking I'll do that probably pretty soon. For now, this is just what it looks like. Nice and clean and simple. I love the pillows. They add character. Um, they have like this cute little chair with all their animals in the corner. And then I got this. I can't remember where I got this plant stand, but they have a couple plants in here. And then this robot bookshelf is from the old house that Richard builds. I love this. So cute in here. They have like their little trophies and toys and all sorts of random stuff on there. So, um, but yeah, that's their bedroom. That's the view from their room. You can see the horses out there. That's a horse right there. They come all the way over here and like reach their neck over the edge and eat. So it's really fun. We kind of feel like we own horses, even though they're the neighbors. Okay, so this is the landing. Nothing really going on in here right now. I haven't done much with it. It just has these light fixtures that I found off of Amazon and it has this air filter in here. But so far, there's not a whole lot going in here. I'm sure I'll do something on this wall eventually, maybe that wall, but for now, it's just a big empty kind of hallway space. This is the boys' bathroom. Just very simple. They have like this cute little wooden ladder in here. It has, we just kind of keep their towels on there. Oh my gosh, that towel is so dirty. I need to take that out. Um, but yeah, we need to get a mirror for in here, but it's just very simple. I have like this little fake plant in here because there's no light in here. So it adds a little bit of life. All right, and then over here is the playroom. Richard made this whole built-in. I have a new light coming that I'm gonna do here. It's more like a rattan one. I think like it just needs that kind of vibe in here. So that is coming. I think it's coming today. So we're gonna switch that out. We have this day bed in here for a couch when we're just playing. And then also it can obviously be used as a bed. So if we have guests come over, this can be used as a bed for them to stay in. So I love that it is multifunctional. Um, nice big windows in here. I'm thinking I might do curtains eventually, but for now, I think it's just so pretty with the view. We're just kind of leaving that alone. We did this wallpaper on the um, center here just to kind of break up all of the white. I wanted something to just be like a focal point. And then we got this really pretty sign off of Etsy. And then we have like just all of these random things and baskets. I love baskets. I love organizing in them. I think it just makes everything nice and tidy. And then you can use them for whatever after too, if you don't want to use them anymore for toy storage. All right, this is the laundry room. I'm not going to show you a whole lot. It's pretty basic. We need to definitely do some like cutifying, <laughs> if that's a word. We need to do some beautifying in this room. It's just big, white and empty and kind of ugly with all this going on. So eventually we will do something fun in there maybe some wallpaper or something. Okay, and then back here, we have the exercise room. This rug is driving me nuts because it keeps on bunching up. Like I think when we walk on it, we like kind of push it like that. So it's bunching up and then it doesn't, like I have to like move everything and then straighten it. So that does bug me a little bit, but it's just a basic room. We don't even have like the light fixture changed out from the builder, but it is nice having a place to exercise. And then when I run on here, I can look out the window, which is just so pretty. Um, and then there's a closet that has a bunch of random decor and exercise stuff in there. And then here you can actually walk through to the girl's room. This is the girl's bathroom. They each have their own sinks, which I love and they love too. It's just very simple. I was thinking eventually we might do like some sort of wallpaper behind their mirrors just to kind of break up the white and add a little interest. And then they have all of this storage space. I know eventually they're gonna fill it up with all sorts of products, but they're still pretty young. So there's not a whole lot of stuff in there. And then over here is where they have their shower and toilet room. 
And then this little gold shelf thing, they can keep like bath bombs and soaps and whatever. Right now it's pretty empty, but that is from anthropology. Actually, so is that and so is that too. I love this because it has like these little like tassels. Okay, so then coming out of their bathroom and coming into their bedroom, this is their little walk-in closet. They keep it pretty tidy. I do wanna do like all matching like storage up here. I think that'd be really cute. What we actually wanna do is do like my closet system from Ikea and do a whole thing in their closet eventually. But um, right now it seems like most of our projects are outside. So eventually we'll do that. This is awesome. I got this vintage bookshelf from an Instagram seller. Um, here is their desk. We have little ottomans on each side of it. The kids love to sit here while one sits in the middle and then another one sits over here. So then they all play on the desk together, which is really cute. Um, and yeah, here is their beds. I got these bed headboards from Urban Outfitters. I love them. I think they're so pretty, so boho, so fun. Um, but yeah, I love their bedroom. I think it's so cute and fun. But that is it and they got their cute little flamingo in the corner and then they have let's see here what do they have over here so right here they're growing a avocado pit so eventually you turn into a little avocado tree and then over here Stella is growing sunflowers from her class so cute how they're popping up so good Okay, so now we're gonna go back downstairs through the entryway and I'll show you the rest of the downstairs. Okay, so now we're walking back to the back of the house here. Okay, so here is the little powder bathroom. It's also pretty basic. Just has like this fun little mirror from Amazon. That little light fixture up there but yes little potty training toilet just not a whole lot another room that we need to give some tlc to eventually um, and then the girls have their little play kitchen here it is so tiny and they're getting so big so i don't know how much longer they'll play with that actually i think holty plays with it more than they do but they still do like it okay so this is the family room i love this room it's very boho very farmhouse all at the same time. I think that's very much the vibe of this house, but I love, love, love the huge window with the amazing view. I think that's so pretty. Um, it's just, I love looking at it all the time. Um, yeah, what can I say? This couch is the same couch that we had our old house, but different fabric. I cleaned some spots <laughs> that a kitty left a little surprise on our couch with. So. Um, those are just wet from me cleaning it, but cleaned right off. This is the same couch that we had at our old house, but just a different configuration and a different fabric. But I love this couch so much, so that is why I got it again in the new house. Um, we just have like this fluffy white rug in here, which I love, and everyone else loves too. It's just very cozy. Coffee table, fireplace. We put these little juju hats over the top here to kind of like frame in the tv we're eventually going to hang up the tv we have a kit to hang it but again like another project that we're going to do when we're not doing so many projects outside um and then i have this big target egg chair which was like the perfect thing to replace our christmas tree and i just i love it in here now i think it looks so good it totally fills out the space and then this is a shelf that richard built he got this, like, this was all like one piece of wood and he cut it down the middle and then cut the other half into two halves. And so he did all this and then I got these corbels. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I got those off of Etsy. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks so cool. I will probably eventually put more stuff on them, but for now I'm liking it really simple. Okay, so then let's go to the kitchen. This is our kitchen. I love it. I love how, just I love the tones of it, the wood, the warm wood and the white. It just looks so bright and pretty. I'm gonna show you, I'm just trying to see like how much detail I should go into, but this is obviously like our farmhouse dining room table. 
we eat a lot. We actually eat probably equally on the table and also on the bar. Just kind of depends, I guess, on our mood. Um, but then Richard did all of this detail. He made all of this front part to it. He cut all these pieces and stapled them or actually nailed them to the front of the island, which I love. It gives so much character and warmth to the space. I think it would be way too white in here if it didn't have that. And then we put these light fixtures here. Richard also actually did this custom hood. We just did it like right over the top of the cabinet. And you can see underneath here where the original vent was, but we just put that right over the top of there to add a little more interest and character, which I love. It makes it not look so cookie cutter. And then I love our gas stove top. It is so fun to cook on it. I've never had one and we really do enjoy it. I just got all like this kind of butter, salt and pepper, olive oil, some bread here, cutting boards, the farmhouse sink, which I love. You can put so many dishes in there. It's insane. I love our big windows up there and then like our whole like coffee bar area right there and then our bread. And then let's look over here. This is probably my favorite room in the house. I was so excited to have a humongous pantry. We actually just dumped out all of our white flour and sugar and brown sugar and something else, I can't remember. We're going like paleo, so I just got rid of all that stuff and I'm gonna do like almond flour and coconut sugar and that stuff instead. But yeah, this is our pantry. I love this. I could spend forever in here talking about it, but I'm just gonna kind of show you quickly what it looks like. Richard did all this shiplap in here. We have all of our like our appliances in the back there, um, our little robot vacuum. This is all like storage pretty much from the container store. The bottom is like insane quarantine snack stock. Don't judge, there's so much. We're a big family, so we go through stuff pretty fast. And then I have like all of our big jars up here with oatmeal and quinoa, rice, all that good stuff. I love these baskets for our fresh produce. It lets stuff breathe. And then you can always just take out the whole thing and then wipe underneath it when there gets like cooties that fall out. But that is the pantry. And then over here, this is another room that Richard did his magic on. This is the mudroom. It is amazing. I can't believe this is my house different times. Like I have to pinch myself, but I love it. Um, each one has, everybody has their own little cubby. We just took down all of the backpacks because we're obviously not going back to school the rest of the year. So those are all taken down, but the girls have their purses here. We usually have like sunglasses and hats and different things hanging up, but everyone's gone. So they took all their stuff. And then down below is our little cubby holes for shoes. And then up there we have like hats and gloves and that type of thing. And then everybody has their own wooden name above each little cubby, which I love. It's like their first and their middle names. So super cute. Um, I have this rug in here for now. And then in the corner, it's just a couple of baskets that have like returns. <laughs> How many of you guys have returns that you need to do that you're like waiting for quarantine to be lifted? That's me. So that's kind of where those are sitting for now. That is that side of the island. It's got so much good storage in there. And then a little peek at the back deck. It kind of feels like we're in a tree fort because we're like elevated a little bit. And I love that. I love feeling like we're in the trees. Okay, and then we'll go back to bedroom. This is the master bedroom. We have a barn door that is open right now. This right here is my prayer chair, little corner here. I have this verse up here, which I love. I have like this cool arch from Pier 1 and like a little table here. This plant is not doing so good, so I hope it comes back to life. I had to replant it, but for now, I don't know if it's going to make it or not, so praying that it does. And then this is our bedroom. I've got like this dresser over here with our TV. I have like this little clothes rack here for kind of current clothes that I'm wearing. We just got this brand new fig tree. 
from Home Depot. So that is living there right now. And then it was just Mother's Day. So all of my Mother's Day stuff is sitting right there close to my bed. And I love having that there as I can look at. I love all the kids' sweet things that they give me. Absolutely priceless. This that just kind of sits out and it's ugly is my sauna. I use this probably four times a week, but I love it for sweating out toxins. So good. Yes, love that. That is Richard's closet. This is not so pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Eventually we'll do something in here, but that is his walk-in closet. This is our master bathroom. I love this big chandelier from Pottery Barn. It just adds so much glam to it. This is probably the room that I would have changed, like I wish that I would have done a little bit differently. Like I wish that this was bigger. We decided to do a humongous shower, which is amazing, but it's like, do we really need a huge, huge shower? I wish we would have put the vanity over here and had a big vanity because we all end up getting ready around this thing and it's just so cramped. We all are like, can't fit. So I wish that that would have been kind of reversed because this would have been like, I think a better size space for the shower. Um, and then also I wish we would have done a nicer bathtub, but maybe eventually we will. This is just like a very basic standard bathtub, which I still use all the time, but I wish it was like a closet or something a little bit, a little bit fancier. Um, and then I have this mirror hanging here and then I have this little cart. I usually have my bath salts in here, but I haven't done that yet. So they're just kind of sitting in there until I get that taken care of. That is just the toilet room. So nothing exciting in there. And then last but not least is my closet. This was like one of the first projects we took on at the beginning of quarantine. And I'm so excited we did because I love it. I love having everything all organized. This whole system is from Ikea, even the glass doors. If it's everything, it's so fun. Um, I have like my little vanity area here. Very simple, very sweet. These are my Mother's Day flowers. So I have them just sitting there for now. I need to get them planted in the yard, but eventually we'll do that. And then I have my old light fixture that used to be in our old dining room, which I love. I wanted to bring that into the new house. And then this is my big ornate mirror that I got. I love it. I take all of my outfit selfies in there. I love that it's just glam and so fun for the closet. And then I have ceiling to floor shelves in here for my shoes. This whole area was like the one area that I didn't really clean up before I did this video. I don't know why. I'm sorry, this isn't a too attractive. So just envision it without that there. So that's all my shelves for my shoes. I love that. We were thinking about doing somewhere in here for shoes, but I love like how clean it is and I love all like the space for my bag. So I didn't want it to be too crammed with stuff. So this was really fun to do all the shoes over here instead and it just gives me way more storage that way too. Mm -hmm.